This is a Duggar Sisters update for March 2023. Let's catch up with Jill, Jessa, Jana, Ginger, and Joy. So this month, Jessa actually made a heartbreaking announcement. Jana left Arkansas, Jill went to court, Joy went to California, and Ginger hit an important milestone. So Jessa, let's start with her because she recently revealed on her YouTube channel something very personal, that she had found out she was pregnant with baby number five in the fall, but unfortunately lost the baby over the holidays. Jessa doesn't show her emotions all the time, in my opinion. I mean, she's usually very even keel, but in this video, she really opened up. She said that in November, they had told the kids they were expecting a baby and it was this cute moment where they made the kids guess by giving them clues. Spurgeon figured it out pretty quickly. She then says that um, they had a slew of viruses in the family in December, like a stomach bug, strep throat. I mean, the kids got really sick in general this season, so not fun at all for us parents, so I can relate to this. I was wondering why Jessa was missing from so many of the Duggar family events over Christmas. I had even said in one of my videos that I was worried about Jessa. Well, seems like the viruses and everything she was going through were to blame. She says this was an accurate representation of what she felt like over the holidays. So at 11 weeks, she did have some spotting, she says, and she kind of documents this. So she made an appointment to an ultrasound and um, just to check things out. And But she wasn't really overthinking it at the time. But when the tech checked, the tech actually said, you know, that the sack looked good, but the baby did not. Which, I mean, she could have said it in a different way. I mean, just my opinion on that. That's not the easiest way to hear it. Then Jessa says she felt in shock and started to cry, and she was happy she didn't go alone. Ben was actually able to go with her. So she was even asking herself, like, is it something she did? Poor Jessa, honestly. She's so brave for opening up to all of us like this, and she also revealed that she had a procedure afterwards which, by the way, is ordered by the doctor usually after losing a baby. And somehow, her saying this like activated some fans to the point where Ben, who usually is on the quiet side on social media, responded to fans and said, To all of you who have spread lies about my wife, I demand a public retraction and apology for your words, shares, retweets, or likes by which you've slandered my wife, further wounding a grieving woman. Please be humble and respectable enough to recognize your errors and insensitivity and set the record straight to your followers. Thank you. So agreed. The fact that fans or anyone like content create, I don't know who was saying this, but would attack Jessa for a procedure her doctor obviously thought was important to her or for her to have is absolutely unfair, um, period. And she is going through a hard time. It's a very emotional thing to go through. So let's now go to Joy, who is pregnant with a boy, baby number three, with her husband, Austin. Joy Austin and the kiddos went to visit Jeremy and Ginger recently this month in California, mostly brought the kids to the park, went to see one of Jeremy's soccer games, and the sisters went shopping. The first store they actually tried to go into was actually closed, so which was funny, and then they went to Goodwill to relive the good old days, they said, but admitted that they don't shop there anymore, probably because, you know, they have a lot more money now. I mean, Ginger is like a full-fledged author featured in the New York Times. I mean, come on. In this video, it just seemed like Ginger's been totally transformed into like a California girl and she really likes it. She even like picked out a shirt that said like LA. She's just like so proud to live there. So just her demeanor. I don't know. They also made homemade pizzas with Jeremy and Ginger's amazing pizza oven. This was profiled on Joy's YouTube channel and uh, it kind of made me crave pizza, honestly. I'm also so jealous that they can make restaurant style pizza at their house. Like who, who does that, honestly? So 
let's talk about Jill now. Jill, meanwhile, recently brought her kids to the courthouse to see what Derek was up to at work because, you know, he works there. <laughs> He's a lawyer. She had said, we went to court yesterday afternoon and enjoyed seeing a little more of Derek's job. Then we enjoyed outside time in the park before the storms roll in today, plus found a cute little boutique. She also seems to be focused on making sure her boys learn how to swim, which makes a lot of sense. I remember learning that some Duggars know how to swim, but a lot don't or didn't. So Jill is out there making sure her boys are comfortable around water, which is important. Little Freddy has already even started lessons at this point. Very cute, Jill's in there in the pool. And let's talk about Jana now. Well, we know that Jana recently went to Europe thanks to James Duggar's YouTube channel. And um, she was there with her friend Laura and Jed and Katie and James and his friend. They all went to Rome, they went to Venice, and they even went to see the lost city, Pompeii. So they were all over Italy, basically. So it looked like a great little family trip, and it looks like Laura and Jana are still very much BFFs for life. So it looked like they enjoyed a lot of great restaurants and, you know, had a great little, little vacation. So meanwhile with Ginger, I mean, we did talk about her because Joy went to visit her, but she was actually featured by the New York Times. They reviewed or wrote an article about her book. And in the article, it said, Mrs. Volo writes in her book that what she is doing is not deconstruction exactly, but disentangling, a process she compares to methodologically working a clump of hardened puffy out of a healthy head of hair by disentangling. She has separated the truth of Christianity from the unhealthy version I heard growing up, she writes. Okay, so, and while Ginger does not publish images of her kids' faces, which I completely respect, she did post this to her Instagram, and the girls are growing up so fast, they're getting really tall. Very cute. And did I mention that it snowed in California recently, and Ginger had stuff to say about that, and she said that this is one of her favorite times of the year, because, well, you know what? Easter's coming up, and better weather. So it's all great, but I guess it's always kind of nice in California too. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think of my Duggar Sisters update for March 2023. I love keeping up with Jenna, Jill, Joy, you know, all the, all the girls, um, and I think they have a really good story to tell. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts, and definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys!